Hey, DBA fan. Um, the other day, um, I just had um, one of my um, one of my students. Just, he just went on an interview. Uh, he should get a job pretty soon. He was actually one of my online um, students, and he um, he froze on an interview. He just started this interview process, and um, they asked him, "What's a typical day like um, as an Oracle DBA?" He didn't know what to say, so I just kind of laughed at him. But you know, but it is what it is. But um, let me just run, run, just run it down for you guys. So. A typical day as a DBA is you, you're gonna come, you're gonna go into work, and one of the first things you're gonna you, you're gonna want to do is make sure. Well, obviously you, you open, you check your email. Then the second thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that all your backups. Well, not bef before you even check your backups, you want to make sure that your databases are up and running, no issues with any of your databases, right? So if you have one server that has five databases that that you check and these are production databases, you definitely want to make sure that they're in read-write mode, that there's no issues whatsoever. Um, you want to check your, your backups. Depending on your backup schedule, you want to make sure that um, that all your backups ran. Um, some companies um, um, run their backups every day. I don't know why you would do that, but it is what it is. Um, there is no rule of, of, there's no rule of thumb as to how you do your backups. Some do backups every three days, some do once a week. You know, it is what it is. Um, but you definitely want to make sure that that ran. Um, then the next thing that you want to check is you want to check your emails. And um, you want to check your emails as far as um, do you have any trouble tickets um, in your queue? Um, is, are, are users complaining about something um, that was supposed to be taken care of the day prior? Right? You want to check that, right? And then you want to address those problems or issues. You want to send users back their emails. What else do you want to do? Then you want to just um, just kind of just um, create little scripts for you um, to um, for your daily tasks that you do on a, on a regular basis. You know, um, whether it's alerts that you want to set up that you want to set to your, you want to send to your phone. Like if your backups ran successfully, you want that sent to your phone. Like little things like that, you just want to set up, make sure that they that they're in place, right? What else do you do? Um, so as the day goes on, you might have a couple of meetings that you might do with, your, um, with either uh, with a PM or um, your team lead, stuff like that. You want to um, you want you're going to go through that, and then the rest of the day, um, you're just pretty much just monitoring um, the databases, making sure everything is up and running. And as the day goes by, you know um, users might send you um, little requests back and forth that um, that you need just to address. But that's typically what a day is. Um, if it's not. Um, if it's not um, if it's not something huge pressing, like a day is pretty much smooth. Like most of the time, you're not really doing anything because the database is up and running. So, um, but during your team meetings, um, you guys might be talking about uh, major things that are coming up as far as uh, let's say upgrades and stuff like that. But um, yeah, that's typically what the day is. Um, yeah, you're not going to be doing a whole bunch of SQL depending on your environment. It is, but um, because that's mostly the developers that do all that good stuff. But um, yeah, your job as a DBA is to just kind of but kind of sit back, you know, monitor, be proactive a little bit, make sure that databases are running smoothly, and addressing user complaints. If you if you do that on a daily basis, it's cool, it's gravy. So if, hope that answered your question. Talk to you soon. Bye.